Janelle, thank you so much for, uh, for sharing that story and for, for giving voice to, I think, the experience of, of COVID in such a, such a personal way. And obviously, obviously it, it hit everyone and, and impacted us and it was highly relatable. And there's just so many elements that I think to your, to your speech is that, that you do well. Uh, one you know, major thing is you told your story and not someone else's. You focused on your personal experience and how this has impacted you. And you chose a topic that, while not everyone has experienced to the degree that, that you did, resonates with, with people. And as usual, your speeches are very well textured. They've got great description and specificity, which I think give them sort of a life that they might not otherwise have. And you do that really, really well in terms of giving voice to these things. Uh, you had asked and had been concerned as to whether or not this would be too much and too difficult and um, uh, perhaps uh, too challenging for the audience and maybe not giving them a break. And I'll say that you did a good job of starting us off without being too heavy, without kind of making us feel that pain in such a, an acute way through the entire speech while still, it, while still delivering it to us and then sort of resolving in the end and not necessarily needing to completely resolve, but to at least walk us through a little bit of that grieving and healing process that you went through. It wasn't okay, but it kind of allowed us to, to not necessarily be so entrenched in, in the negative. So you took us out of that that well, and I think uh, uh, again through your expressions uh, made it okay for us to to accept and smile and be okay with with your story. Things to improve on that I think you could do, and you you sort of said you didn't want me to pull any punches on this in terms of of trying to provide some constructive ideas, and I would say, you know, the first thing I would think of is to put us in the firsthand experience in the present tense, describing exactly what you were doing in maybe an actual scene. Uh, one of the things I've tried to think about is, is storyboarding the story like a movie and like a movie, you've got a location and you've got present tense. You know, I'm standing in the foyer of the funeral home sitting next to whatever and taking us and describing us firsthand so that we are present there in that moment with you. And I think that would, uh, that would enrich uh, your storytelling uh, quite a bit. And then of course, like any good movie, there's conflict, there's unknowns. Uh, someone described it as zigging and zagging and that zig and zag and push and pull and contrast gives dynamic elements to the story. Uh, so those are just a couple of thoughts that I had in listening to it, but obviously it, it was, it was an excellent, excellent speech and uh, obviously a very personal story. And, and uh, the other thing that I think uh, was most important is that it, it left us affected. It is memorable and it is, it is impactful. And that's, I think uh, uh, the, the greatest value you could hope to get out of the speech. And so thank you for sharing. And as always, I uh, always appreciate uh, every story you bring to the table in such an excellent way. Thank you.